It is often said within the FWBO that one can lose contact with one's feminine side through unknowingly projecting it onto a woman women. All right, first question. To what extent do you think this is true? What a question. <laughs> uh, to what extent for whom? Huh? Uh, all right, second question. Is it possible to experience one's feminine aspect at all in the company of or in a relationship with women? <laughs> Three, would you please tell me what signs or clues to look for so I can make myself aware of the fact that I'm projecting my feminine aspect in a given situation or to enable me to assure myself that I'm not doing this? Four, I mean, he's really serious about this matter. <laughs> Why do you think that the FWO attracts a greater number of men than women at the present time? Five, what conditions must be created before mixed communities and co-ops become equally attractive alternatives to single-sex enterprises? Six, <laughs> do you think that the above conditions were ever likely to be created? If so, at what stage in the FWO's development do you think this will be? The question that seems to think I'm a sort of Buddhist old moor. <laughs> <laughs> B. Huh? Well, I like the way they're neatly tabulated. Huh? Uh, most significant problems or obstacles which we will be confronted with as a movement and as individuals in the future. <laughs> I really ought to have brought my crystal ball. <laughs> uh, hmm, well, yes, it's true. It is often said within the FWBO that one can lose contact with one's feminine side through unconsciously projecting it onto a woman, women. It's very often said. Huh? Uh, sometimes I think it's too often said. Uh, but I'm not going to question the terms of the question. Huh? I mean, this... This is a sort of set of concepts. This is a way of looking at things with which many of us are operating quite usefully huh? and quite helpfully. So I'm not going to question the terms of the question. Huh? So to what extent do you think this is true? Well, it's true to quite a large extent with the majority of people, the majority of men, that is to say. And is it possible to experience one's feminine aspect at all in the company or in relationship with women? I say, what, a short answer? Yes, to some extent. Huh? Uh, and would you please tell me what signs or clues to look for so I can make myself aware of the fact that I'm projecting my feminine aspect in a given situation or to enable me to assure myself that I'm not doing this? Huh? I think this is, in a way, the most important of these questions from the practical point of view. Huh? I think uh, the signs or clues are pretty obvious. Uh, when you project, when you project part of yourself onto another person, whether in this particular way or in some other way, uh, what happens is that you unconsciously regard or treat, or perhaps even consciously regard or treat that person as part of yourself. Yeah. Uh, you do not permit them independence. You do not permit them separate being. Huh? You do not permit them individuality. Huh? You want to chain them to you, to yourself, and therefore you chain yourself to them. Hmm? You've invested a portion of your being in them. Hmm? So they're not allowed to go away. They're not allowed to run away. Hmm? So the, the signs or clues <coughs> you are to look for lie mainly in this area. Hmm? If if uh, the other person in this situation say, goes away, leaves you, hmm? maybe for somebody else, maybe just to do something else, and you feel sort of split or torn, as though a portion of yourself had been torn away, hmm? and therefore feel desperately anxious, upset, and so on, then you can be sure hmm, that you've been projecting, in this case, you know, with regard to, to women, you've been projecting, for want of a better term, your own feminine aspect. You feel, if you feel that you're losing part of yourself when the other person goes away, yeah? that you don't really exist properly anymore, you're only half here, that, I think, is the most important of the signs or clues. Yeah?
And it happens not only in the man-woman situation, but in other situations, as when <coughs> you project, as we were told about the other evening, your own responsibility, or your, your responsibility for yourself, onto another person. So that when that person goes away or isn't around, you don't know what to do. Yeah? You feel helpless <coughs> and lost, and, and, and so on. Yeah? So this is the main thing. Yeah? Hmm? So uh, if, you, if you can't leave that p other person, if you can't allow that other person to leave you, or to function independently, or do what they want to do, yeah? without feeling threatened and lost, yeah? and, and absent, yeah? Well, then you, 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 you know that you are projecting. Yeah? Whether it's projecting your feminine aspect onto a woman or some other aspect of yourself onto some other kind of person. Yeah? So why do I think that the FWBO attracts a greater number of men than women at the present time? Hmm? Well, sometimes I say you'd better ask the women that. Uh, but I suppose there is an answer. I'm glad the question that says at the present time, because it does vary, it does fluctuate. Uh, in some centres, there are more women going along than men, huh? or, or have been at least. Huh? So it isn't uh, an absolute, isn't an absolutely true statement, uh, or wouldn't be an absolutely true statement if one was to say that you know, a greater number of women than men always do go along. But it does seem that a greater number of men than women, as it were, stay the course. They stick. Huh? Hmm? They stay around. Huh? They become mitras, they get kalyana mitras, they become order members. Huh? A higher proportion of, of, of men commit themselves than apparently do women. I think one can say that. Huh? 